Hey guys, welcome to JoJo Site Reviews and more. I'm JoJo. Today is going to be my second video in a series of videos about presidential trivia. Last week I posted a video about George Washington, and today we're going to be talking about the second president of the United States. Uh, he was elected as a Federalist, John Adams. So again, he was the second president of the United States, and I have some facts that I think are interesting and I want to share with you guys. First one is none of um, John Adams' family members were present for his inauguration, which is a little bit sad. Um, he was actually the first non-Virginian of the first five presidents. So George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe were all Virginians. John Adams was not. He was actually from my home state, Massachusetts. He was from Braintree, Massachusetts. He died on the same day as Thomas Jefferson. They had a bit of a rivalry over the course of their lives. Uh, they both died on July 4th, our nation's birthday, uh, on eight, or July 4th in 1826, exactly 50 years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And again, they had a rivalry. Adams did not attend Jefferson's, Jefferson's inauguration, even though um, Jefferson had been Adams' vice president. John Adams, right before he passed away, his last words were, Thomas Jefferson survives. He had, this was erroneous, he had thought that Jefferson had outlived Adams, but in fact, Thomas Jefferson had died a few hours before John Adams. So that was quite interesting, I thought. His son, John Adams' son, was John Quincy Adams, who would become the sixth president. The only other father-son presidential duo, George H.W. Bush and George W. Bush. Um, he defended two British soldiers who were accused of being responsible for the Boston Massacre, which is very interesting. And he has a little quote here, looking back, Adams called his defense of the British soldiers in 1770 as one of the most gallant, generous, manly, and disinterested actions of my whole life, and one of the best pieces of service I have ever rendered my country. He lived to be exceptionally old. He was 90 years old, which is very old back then. Uh, no president had lived longer than Adams until Ronald Reagan and then Gerald Ford, who were both 93 when they passed. I believe Ford was a little bit older than Reagan. And what else? We have a couple more here. Um, he was the first person to propose the idea of a U.S. military academy in 1776. And even though it wasn't until after the war that West Point was created, Adams can be thought of as the father of the U.S. military academy. And he observed the Sabbath actually for a while. During the Revolutionary War, he refused to travel during the Sabbath. He eventually dropped the practice in Paris. And he actually, apparently he had some wild parties. Uh, when he moved into the president's house following Washington's departure, Adams found the space in great disarray, largely because of Washington's servants had been throwing parties there. And he said the house had been... <laughs> the scene of the most scandalous drinking disorder among the servants I'd ever heard of. So actually he complained about the parties. He didn't create the parties. Apparently that was under the Washington administration. Apparently Washington was quite the partier. And he, um, as president, John Adams refused protection outside of his house for over a year. He eventually agreed to have a guard outside his house in response to a um, spate of violence between gang members in Philadelphia. So apparently John Adams was quite the badass. He was only one of 10 presidents to serve a single term. He lost his re-election bid to John, um, I'm sorry, Thomas Jefferson. And the last president to only have one term was George H.W. Bush. He signed an act of Congress for the creation of the United States Marine Band, the oldest continuously active professional musical organization in the country. And he, he took a lot of criticism for the Alien and Sedition Act of 1798. Uh, this increased the residency requirement for American citizenship from 5 to 14 years, authorized the president to imprison or deport aliens considered dangerous to the peace and safety of the United States, and it, was, it has been said that it restricted um, freedom of speech um, in as far as that it was critical of the speech was critical of the government. And I think that negative reaction to the Alien Sedition Act caused, was a, helped contribute to the Democratic-Republican victory in 1800 elections, which Thomas Jefferson won. Last but not least, he was a bad dancer, according to uh, David McCullough, John Adams' bi um, biography author. And bad dancer, I can relate to that. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Hope to see you again soon.